This short video demonstrates the use of personal protective equipment in a healthcare environment. However, these principles are transferable to care delivered within a person's home or care setting outside the hospital. Personal protective equipment, or PPE, is one of 10 standard infection control precautions. PPE is worn during care duties to prevent and reduce the risk of transmission of microorganisms to persons we care for, health and care workers, and the environment. PPE can comprise of gloves, aprons, and eye or face protection, including full face visors. Disposable gloves and aprons are the most common items of PPE. Legislation states that your employer must make these items available. As employees, you are responsible for ensuring you wear appropriate PPE. Personal protective equipment is not to be worn for every care activity or person contact. Some situations will require minimal or no PPE at all. Each activity should be risk assessed before carrying out care or beginning the task. To help decide if PPE is required or before commencing any care and starting any procedure, you need to ask yourself the following questions. Do you need to protect your uniform and skin from being contaminated by blood, bodily fluids, and excretions and microorganisms? How are you going to prevent microorganisms transferring from the equipment and environment to the person you care for, yourself and your colleagues? Does the activity or procedure you are about to perform involve the risk of splashing, spraying or contact of blood and or body fluids? Are you in contact with cleaning solutions? There is an NHS Scotland National Infection Prevention and Control Manual that will support you in the decision-making process and there will be local infection prevention and control policies which will also support you in your risk assessment. In this film, we will show you several activities you may routinely find yourself undertaking. We will go through the process step by step, identifying the correct PPE for each stage. Risk assess the situation. If you assess that contact will be with intact skin, there is no need to wear any PPE, but hand hygiene is necessary. It is important to consider PPE when you are assisting a person to wash and dress, or cleaning a piece of equipment such as a commode. Hand hygiene must be performed before donning PPE. This reduces the risk of transferring any microorganisms from the hands to the outside of the gloves, and then the person being cared for. PPE should be close to the point of use. Gloves should not be carried in your pocket. An apron should be applied to protect the health or care worker's uniform when contamination is likely, such as direct contact with the person we care for. The apron must also be changed at the end of the task or procedure or before commencing care with a new person. Gloves must be applied when exposure to blood and or other body fluids is anticipated. Rings and wrist jewellery should be removed prior to starting work, as they may cause the gloves to tear. You are allowed only to wear bands such as a non-stoned wedding band. Gloves should be a good fit at the wrists and fingers. Incorrectly fitting gloves should be removed and the correct size applied. Gloves must be the correct type to carry out the task being performed. There are several different types of gloves, and not all are suitable for every task. Consult your local guidelines for detail. PPE should be changed after different tasks with the same person, as well as in between individual to individual. Once the person has been washed, the apron should be removed and new gloves and apron applied before you move to another task, such as emptying the urinary drainage bag or removing a used commode. Once a task has been completed, remove all PPE. If at any point in a task, the health or care worker is called away from the person and caregiving area, for example, to take an emergency call and leave the person they are caring for, PPE must be removed and hand hygiene performed. If not, the risk of microorganisms transferring to other equipment and environments is increased. New PPE should be reapplied on returning to the task. If a health or care worker is carrying out a task requiring PPE, 
and is required to assist a colleague with another task. For instance, if a health or care worker is removing a commode and a colleague requires assistance with a person's personal care, PPE must be changed and hand hygiene undertaken before assisting. When removing PPE, it is important to ensure the correct procedure is followed. This is for two reasons. To ensure you do not contaminate yourself with any microorganisms that may be present on the PPE, and to ensure you do not contaminate the environment around you with any microorganisms on the PPE. When wearing both gloves and aprons, gloves should always be removed first. Gloves will have had the most contact with the person and the environment and disposing of them first reduces the risk of contamination elsewhere. Pull the first glove down all the way from the wrist with the other hand. Be careful not to touch your skin with the glove. Turn the glove inside out whilst removing it. Hold the removed glove in the gloved hand. Now remove the second glove by placing the index finger of the non-gloved hand inside the glove at the wrist. Peel it off, again turning the glove inside out, enveloping the first glove at the same time. Discard the gloves in the correct waste bin. In healthcare settings, dispose of PPE in a healthcare waste system. This may differ in care homes or a person's own home. Once this has been completed, remove the apron by breaking the ties at the neck and waist. Without touching the front of the apron, roll the apron inwards into a ball. Discard the apron in the appropriate pedal-operated waste bin and perform hand hygiene. PPE is vitally important in all health and care environments to reduce the risk of contamination and infection. PPE is effective only when it is applied, worn, removed and disposed of correctly. Assess the activity to be undertaken before donning PPE and remove it as soon as it is no longer required and perform hand hygiene. For more information on the appropriate use of PPE, please see the National Infection Prevention and Control Manual.